I reckon there's 150 quid there. Yeah. Oh, four quid. Yeah. I'll buy that. Yeah! Mm. Sell me that bum bag. I'm going to hold on. Let me stop running. Right then, baby, where are we going? <laughs> there's an in there's an indoor car boot sale it's run by our ex charity shop in town daddy, so daddy, mommy's going right now. okay so they're running this event so let's go check it out we've got a new angle today you've got willy cam Crotch angle. Crotch. Crotch. <laughs> Hi, how are you? oh yeah you haven't seen it for ages have you no i haven't <laughs> are you rabbly lot gonna let us in here or what you start in trouble already. Minutes. I told we can wait. you about this in the cold, didn't I? I told you I'd be here to cause drama. <laughs> Hi, darling! Yes. He's a friend. Is it one o'clock? No, 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 I'm early. We're just coming to check it out. We're coming to make sure it was here, that was all. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hello. 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 Got to speak to Steph. Tell Steph, I'll buy oh, it off her. Steph? Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's got loads of them. I'll buy that, I like Oakley. <laughs> Are we still waiting out here? Look. <laughs> I'm guessing the floodgates are open now, it's official. Yeah, it's yeah. official. <laughs> Tons of it, tons of it. Sell me that bum bag. I'm going to hold on, let me swap her in Oh, hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. How are you, darling? Oh, I've beautiful. Oh, you can leave it in there. No, because I've just, I've just changed the notes. No, you leave, you leave all, you've got to leave all the money in there. I've been after a new bum bag and that's just my style. It's been all right then since, since doing the technique trust. Has it been all right? Yeah, it's not too bad, to be fair. Right, how much money do you want off me for it? A couple of quid, is that right? Beautiful. Okay, I've been after a new bum bag. Look at big. this whole thing. I'm hoping I can get rid of loads of money today. Oh, this piece. Hey, thank you. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, I'm buzzing with that. Straight off the back. You can buy whatever you like. No, I love it. If I leave here with nothing, I'm happy. <laughs> Ada, you can buy what you like. I'm paying for it. Yeah, get what you want. Sorry, buddy, you carry on. That's my size. Mm -mm -mm. How much are these two here? Yeah, tracks, two pounds. Lovely, I'll take both of those, please. What are those? <laughs> take them as well, thank you. Who are you? Oh, hello, Ada. Are you my, are you my daughter? Yeah. What, do you want money? Please, may you pass that to the lady? So that's for daddy. Wrangler. Two pound and less priced. I need to kind of, I need to pull them out of your lovely pile to get oh, to see them. Back again, then, won't you? Oh no, I will. Of course, I'll put them back in there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I think that's it for this stall, so I'll pay for that then. Twenty. Let's call twenty pounds. Beautiful job. Let's go and see how much uh, they've all cost me now, shall we, over there? Yeah, probably Thank more you. than that. Yeah, Thank well, you, right, maybe. Yeah? <laughs> I'm looking at the toys. How much are the Lego we Oh, come on, dear. Is it inflatable? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it? I've got a thingy on it. What's all for the bag, then? £1.50. Sold. Yeah, Lego's a tough one, isn't Thank it? Thank you very much. A wave? Yeah, we did. How much is that on there? In full swing. What's this? A raffle? Oh, do I dare? Yeah, I'll do. Go on then. Is it an instant reveal thing? Yeah. Oh, good. I haven't got to wait around till the end. No, it's not a raffle, darling. Okay. It's just How much you want? Five for a pound. Beautiful. Thank Ada, you. can you pick some of these tickets for me? See if we can do win some. Do you want to get some tickets for Daddy? See if we can win. You pick. Here, look. Put your hand in there. Pick five out. One. Oh, I love Put them, them on here. Yes. Two. Beautiful. Three. Four. Come on, we want a top prize, whatever that is. A beer. We want some beer. There you go. Smirnoff ice. Do you have to open them or do I open them? You open them. Oh, okay. You right. do it. You, you open them, darling. You open them up. Tell us what number they are. You've got a zero or a five. Come on. The end. Right, you're it? killing me now. Oh, you killed us. No, no good. Next one. Yeah, I've got a bin, oh, no. Rubbish. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
no, rubbish. Oh no, rubbish. Oh, let's go again. I do it, okay. There's another pound. Thank you. Okay. One, two, three, four. I picked out five in one go. You ready? Oh, this one? Camera, filming it. Over here in the bin. Next one. Oh. No, oh, no good. Come on, next one. Second go. Come on. If you don't get one of the last one, put it on. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Thank you, it's fun. It's a good cause. No, no good. Next one. Come on. Come on. Oh, my good. Oh, we're getting robbed. We get, we're getting robbed. Have you got change or not? Yes, darling. Sorry, my dear. Right, are you ready? We're going to go again. Are you ready? Oh, my mum's found the book section. Last one. Come on, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going until you get something. Four, five. Wait, I need to make sure there's five there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We're doing, it's not, it's five. We need a zero or five. Oh, in the bin. Oh, no. Come on, keep Your going. Dad's rubbish at picking these tickets. Stand still then, you wiggly one. No. Yeah! Did you win, Mum? What did you win? Let's have a look. 160. Keep going. Keep going. We'll have a look in a minute. Oh, pick these two as well. Nope. 60. You ready? No, I've been. Next one. Last one. Oh, no, that's no good either. What have you won? What have you won? It is. Match a pair of birds. Oh, you like game. that. You, you won a game nice. where you can match birdies. Memory game. You know, like when you do your click too. That's good, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. Cool. Glad to have helped. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is that happy? What did you win? Um, a, a, a match two memory game thing. Oh. You found your book. So how much do I owe? You get these it's okay. You can pay Fun for those. Pay, um, pay whoever that was. There you go. Whoever you got the stool from. Oh, yeah. Butter. What are they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm on your way then, man. Which ones? Emma, are these not a bit of you? You got that bag of seconds. You can put them bits in it if you want. Who do I pay for the shoes? And we've got two and three fifty there. I'm still, I'm still very, very happy with my bum bag. <laughs> right, come on then, Ada. No, no, no. Uh, actually, probably because that one's full. To be fair, Ada, stop a minute. What do you want, darling? Go and go, go and pick the teddy bear. Then I'll come and pay for it. Go and get it in case anybody else buys it. Here? Where? One of these? Pick one then. There's plenty there, we'll get one in a second. Hand knitted, aren't they? Yeah, which colour do you like? I don't want to be an idiot, that's all. But I am going to be an idiot. I've only got a 20 pound note. Lovely. Right, let's have another quick sneak, see what's left. How much is the bag? Oh, four quid. I'll buy that. Um, and now I'm back to the 20s now. <laughs> Food. Yeah, beautiful stuff, Lovely. thank you. I think I've spent 50 quid already. Mm -hmm. Daddy, help me, Daddy. Yeah, I'll pick it up again in a minute. Daddy's having a quick browse around. Who is this guy? His books look like they're probably interesting. Robert Rankin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to Google him because you've got a lot there, haven't you? And I might, yeah. end up, I might end up buying them all if they're worth it. Come on, then. Let us know that they are. Uh... So they just look like because there's a because there's a collection of them. Mm. Yeah. It might be worth just getting them. All. How much are, how much are the books each? Well, it's three per pound. Might well, just buy more. Let's have a look. One, two, two three. three, one, two, three. That's six, isn't it? But they're all about ranking, yes, aren't they? A sign saying, hey, at the... I'll just, I'll, just yeah. take a, I'll just take a risk on it, I don't care. They're quite, they're different, aren't they? To those yeah, they're all, ones? I mean, they're yeah. all rubber yeah, ranking, yeah. but they're all yeah, like, right, yeah. they're all different things, yeah. aren't they? Three for a pound, okay. So two pounds. I don't think there's any more there by him. Well, there's that. Cheers, my love. Thank you. I think I've spent 50, 50 quid already. Oh, well <laughs> I thought when they saw me arrive, they went, yes, oh, he, spends he, money. Money. he spends money. He spends money. 
How's things going anyway? Not too bad. Yeah. Nothing drastic. <laughs> but keeps the wolves away from the door. What's it called? It. It'd be nice if you ever get a shop again though, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you do. Yeah. Thank you. Nah, I'm used to it. I've been, I've been to the car boot this morning already. Oh. I've had bags all over the place. <laughs> I'm so used to it. It's my job, isn't it? I, I just hate holding bags. I prefer yeah, to no, massively appreciate it. Yeah, 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 of course. I do appreciate the offer. I don't want to start getting used to bag service. Yeah. <laughs> is that stuff there that hasn't come out yet? Is that what's going to happen? Are they, are they going to go on the rails? Can I? Yeah. Thanks. Sick. Do you want me to hang up? Yeah, there's loads of room. That was loads of fun. It was good to see the ladies as well. I haven't seen some of them for a very long time. Got some fucking smashing bits. I don't know if it's on camera or not, but I bought the bag straight off a waist. I saw her stuffing her cash into it. I said, I want to buy that. Take it off. And she did. It's a complete snide, but it's so decent. Look at that. I love that. Bit of bootleg Oakley on a bum bag. I'm a sucker for some bootleg stuff. You know that. And I think I've had a right come up. Fucking, oh. I didn't catch the last few bits on camera, but you'll see it in a minute. Right, it is now 20 past two, I think, or 20 past three. Can't even read that clock properly. 20 past two. It's 20 past two on the Saturday that I've just done the car boot from. You would have seen it earlier or yesterday. I've just come back from a jumble sale. It's not a jumble sale. I mentioned it before. Local shop started off pop-up shops. They're doing pop-up charity shops, basically. Pop-up charity shops is a thing now. I went down to show my support and obviously fill my pockets because I'm a greedy bastard reseller. And <laughs> I think I've done really, really well. Wasn't expecting to at all. Should we take a look at what we got? Let's have a look. I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to start with this bag here and just show you what it is because it's easiest. These are Fly London, which is obviously quite an expensive brand. But what stuck out to me was... <laughs> what the fuck are they? They were three quid. So it's not jumble sale prices by any means. It's like a mix between jumble sale and charity shop prices. It's like a bit of an in-betweeny kind of. Some stuff was charity shop prices, but um, a lot more leeway. Like I was getting bundles of stuff. It was like, she counted it as like 21 50 She went, just call it 20 So that was nice and easy for change. So I was like, yeah, cool. But these, a bit snazzy, aren't they? I am going to look into these and give you a screenshot on them because I've not seen them before. So I can't imagine everyone else has either. So I'll give you a bit more info on them. I don't know anything about most of this stuff right now. I'll give you what info I can. Otherwise, it's a matter of guesstimation and, you know. Lots of clothing again, of course, but. So this little bundle here cost me a tenner. So I mean, it's not massively cheap, but it was okay. So we've got a Fender t-shirt here. The one for all, Fender, American Professional 2. And then Fender across the front. I've got enough clothes for a whatnot stream now. Wait until you see this t-shirt in a minute. It's so good. And this other item, I've got, I've got an item that I think is worth £150. Pretty sure. So another Fender one. Fender, Player Plus. Player Plus, a new kind of player. Just promotional tees. They're like dead stock condition, but there is dog hairs on them. So somebody obviously had a dog. Oh, well done, Ricky. Guinness polo. Just a nice little Guinness polo. Some Wrangler jeans. These are older ones, these are. Quite a nice shape and a nice cut as well. Again, not sure about the colour. I don't like blue jeans. And this is so sick. It's a size large. I'm hoping it's my size. I think it might even be a collaboration with a supermarket. Let me just check first. But I can't, yeah, Primark, as you can tell by the tags. But it's Rick and Morty. That is dope, isn't it? So, so sick. That fit, that, John Luke, that fit you. Buy it off me. So good. I know I am going to try it. I'm gonna try it on. Hopefully, we can squeeze into it. What do you reckon? Oh, it smells very nice. Without looking at it, if it, I could wear this. <laughs> I'm an easily pleased bunny. I can't wear it though with this hat. 
the hat doesn't go green and grey. Yep. So that was £10. So you know I mean, it's not massively cheap, but it's all right. I picked up a stack of six Robert Rankin books. Books were three for a pound. I bought six Robert Rankin books. And I don't know why. I just feel like I've seen on Instagram somewhere one of you lot sharing them Robert Rankin books. Did a quick little look. Somebody sold a collection of them for like £100, £80, £70. So I thought, we'll have a go on them. I think it might have been Steve Spends a Penny. He's the sort of person I can think of that would have shared something like that. But there's six there. All in good condition, all hardback, and I'll check for signatures as well. I think that's decent. Might as well just show you the elephant in the room. I can see it peeking in the background. This was one pound. It was once in a St. Michael's for one pound fifty. Still sealed. Hey, the Roaring Sixties, fifteen hundred piece <laughs> puzzle. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon without even looking. I reckon there's. If that is a genuine seal, it looks it though. Look, it's a bit broken there, but it looks like a genuine seal to me i reckon i reckon there's 150 quid there i could be absolutely tripping i'm going to put a screenshot up here now so we can all see what it is roughly and then as i carry on with this video i'm either now looking like a massive twat too hopeful or i'm pretty much on the money but i'm pretty sure that's going to be triple figures it might not be as much as 150 but it's going to be triple figures there as a pound and it was 150 before in the charity shop somewhere else. That's an old that's an old St. Michael sticker, that is. An old St. Michael sticker. My favourite purchase so far is honestly the Oakley bag. <laughs> Mainly just because I spotted it and was like, I need to buy it. So that was £2. I think it's sick. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Emma was like, I can't believe you. I can't believe you bought that off her. Are you dumb? Baby, baby. Everything's for sale, yeah? She's coming into the business soon. And she needs to learn oh, what have i done and she's soon gonna learn everything's for sale everything has a price everything <laughs> my new bag for the car boot sales 50 pence we have some michael kors sunglasses these are really nice they are prescription you look very strange in there like that oh actually that's quite focused hmm up to there that's nice a bit further away it's not so they are prescriptions, so they will have to sold as lens only. They're called Michael Kors Cold Insert Southampton. So these are Southamptons, I guess that's a model name. But they're really nice, aren't they? Got like a nice little block colour, little hits on the edges. 50 pence. Come on. See what I mean? It's not cheap, but it wasn't massively expensive either. Five pound. Now, they're a bit worn. You know, I wouldn't normally pay five quid for them in that condition at all. But because of all the stuff that I bought already, it was totally worth it. These will sell. I'll get my money back on Vinted regardless. This is how I'm thinking now. Vinted and whatnot, I'd get my money back regardless. I'd get a fiver for them. No drama. So I'm never going to lose money. But I'll try and push for a bit more. 12, 15 quid out of them. This bundle here now, I'm showing you by the way, was £20. Lovely silk shirt. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Lovely browns and deep oranges and autumn golds and that duck blue. I don't think it's anything special. Oh, it's BHS, British Home Stores, quality silkware. Uh, it's just my size and I like it. I might rock that tomorrow. A bunch of Lego minifigures for £1.50. There's a couple of snide ones in there. Oh, these ones are snide. But there's a bunch of legit ones as well. There's a few, a few in there. There's more than £1.50's worth of value. Foot Joy quarter zip, nice one, nice size, nice condition. I say nice size, I think it's a small, yeah, it's a small, but still nice, really nice condition. Lyle and Scott extra large zip jacket, a couple of small little marks, but condition wise, immaculate. That'll soon wash out. It's my size as well, but I'm not really a Lyle and Scott kind of person, but I don't mind the top, you know. If that was a kangaroo pouch pullover, I probably would have kept that. So that's going to be for sale shortly as well. £2 for a Sweaty Betty size I. Quite, um, it's a bit bobbly, but I've got a de-bobbler that I got from Timu to get all that out. But a nice bit of Sweaty Betty for £2. Well, whatever it was, it was all part of a £20 bundle. We're not going to argue, are we? Some more Levi's. I left loads there. They have like worn crotches and stuff. These are the only ones that was passable. Some 505s. Some nice beige Wranglers. And some... 501s 
So yeah, as I said, all of that was about 20 quid. What's in here? I bought a Jimmy Choo perfumes, a gym bag, duffel bag, whatever you want to call it. So this probably would have came free with some perfume, but Jimmy Choo still got the zip protectors on. Looks barely used if I'm honest. Really, really, really nice little bag that. That was four quid, I think. Yeah, four quid. So, you know, not jumble sale cheap, but not bad. What the fuck are these? <laughs> <laughs> these were two no, these were three pounds fifty size eight they're johnny b's so they're a nice brand nothing m miraculous at all but they're a nice brand uh, i think they're actually men's i'm dead set i think they're men's they're like faux fur faux hair they are leather made in india 2016 size 42 i think that's a nine or an eight 42 is an eight Maybe they're women's, I don't know, but they look very men's shaped, don't they? And these, because they was really good condition, and I'd never heard of the make before, Botero. You know, they've trademarked all their stuff. They're made in Brazil, so I thought they've got to be, they've got to be some kind of market for them, haven't they? Uh, Botero boots, these were two quid. Got to be 20 quid back on them. And yeah, there we have it. That's what I picked up, but look at that. Thumbnail absolutely smashing i hope i got some good footage i've got no idea to be fair ada did a raffle she won what did she win oh a lovely little card game thing she loves all that she got a few bits as well some books and some other bits and some teddies all in all i think i spent about 50 quid 55 quid probably get that back on the michael cause glasses no that's probably a stretch oh and also i've got some pantene pro v shampoo and conditioner 50 pence emma's always whinging at me emma doesn't like it when i use hers I massively appreciate you watching. I hope you're enjoying the content at the moment. I'm going to draw the winner for the Stormtrooper on the next video. So keep an eye out for that one. There'll be another giveaway coming up very shortly as well. Actually, no, we'll do a giveaway now. I sent off the last two packs of these. We've got two more packs. We've got tons to go through here. Apparently, these sell quite well, actually. I had no idea. So two sealed packs of Japanese legitimate Pokemon cards for your chance to enter. Your entry comment must be, Ricky, I choose... Like Pikachu, I choose you, you know. Ricky, I choose, and then you fill the rest out, and I'll get these two packs on the way to. I think it's about 16 quid's worth there, but you are totally, totally worth it. Please like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to catch up with some more of these videos as soon as they're released. Really appreciate it. Love you all. I'm going to go sort this place out now. Bye. So much to do. So much stuff. I've got a car boot sale tomorrow as well.